What's going on, on YouTube? I'm about to do a review on my 2015 Q70L. I did the full digital speedometer cluster and I also did the 10.25 uh, inch uh, screen to replace the factory screen that's 8 inches. So, didn't see much of this on youtube whatsoever the ones you do see they're in chinese or they're not speaking so you kind of don't know what's what so i'm going to give you a decent review on anybody that's in the u.s or anything like that or just wants to hear someone talking and saying what's up with the product so we're gonna get started Okay. All right. So it's fully integrated with everything that's with your regular one. The only thing that it doesn't have anymore, and it's not really a big deal, is the uh, your mile your miles per gallon. Where it would tell you, you got twenty three on the city, thirty five on the highway. I really don't give a shit. Just as long as I know how much gas is in it, really. Really, that's the only thing I saw that I lost. So, getting into it. So, you have different styles. It even shows a picture of an infinity. So, you're going to get it right here. So, right here, your settings. This right here, for anyone who's in the uh, miles per hour, not kilometers, this right here is where you want to be. So you're going to go to settings. And right there where it says factory. That's that's going to be your friend right there, factory. You'll put in the code. Zero. You hold this button right here to go to the next one. Tap it. Hold. And uh, zero one six. eight and hold you go to the okay and you press that so this right here i had a little trouble at first because i was like hey i was contacting the people i was like hey my uh mileage isn't showing so as you can see right here is where you enter in your mileage okay then it has a few more. Let me get back about it. It has a few more settings, but that's uh your main tank. Uh, it's in liters, not gallons. So seventy-five liters is twenty gallons, which is a twenty-gallon tank on here. So that's correct. Everything is pretty much preset for your vehicle. Even has the direction of uh, which side your gas cap is on right there. If you look down where it says a. Uh, 428 miles and your gas tank or your gas emblem is letting you know which side your gas cap is on so you can change these styles up let me see oh shit so now we fucking up now that back zero only got 82,000 miles on this I bought this from a pops he bought him a LS 500 a 2022 one of the executive ones, that motherfucker, every damn seat massage on that son of a bitch. Okay. So we're gonna get out of that. Alright, hold on, let's go down. And see right here is where this unit, uh different models use this unit. So you got Jeep and a few other ones. I don't feel like scanning through it right now, but it's a couple of other brands on there but your brand is preset on there so you just go to return and another code is one as a zero one six nine and that's where you change your from kilometers to miles per hour uh, everything is in Celsius so you can change it to Fahrenheit and all that good stuff those are all your good settings that you need 
So as you can see, my odometer is reading correctly at 82,000. And let's see if we can go to a few uh, of the different. See your trip. You got your trip still. And it's still uh, my sport, standard, eco, snow, all that still, still switches with it. Let's see. So we want to get out of that one. All right, so style. Let's go to style. So you can be in style right there. So you can change the different styles of the unit itself. You got sport. You got your kind of classic one. That's kind of what the odometer looked like. The original one had two big clusters there and little ugly shit in the middle. So y'all digital right there. Very beautiful screen. Okay, hold on. Let's go. And you got three different ones. And this here, your pitch. You turn your wheel, it's letting you know, I don't know what all that roll and all that good shit, but yeah, this is another nice looking screen. And when I went into my settings, I put the compass on, which I don't really need that, so I'll end up taking that off, but as of now, it's still on there. And all your check engine lights will come on, battery, anything that goes wrong that your car sends a signal and lets you know on your dashboard, it'll still let you do it. So... Remember the code 0168 and 0169. Those are your codes to put in the fact, put in factory to be able to change your settings and different stuff like that. And I saw a few that as soon as they hooked them up, the odometer read what the car was. I don't know if they hooked it up beforehand and had already said it, but if it doesn't do it for you, Go in, put in the code, uh, set your mileage, and you're good to go. So now for the head unit here. I got this head unit. I got this off AliExpress. Uh, they got in contact with them. We, like I said, they they got the codes to me. It's a little bit of a little bit of a language barrier, but hey. It is what it is, and uh, we, we got everything together. So, all in all, I'm pleased with the unit. It's a real good-looking unit. makes the car look a hundred times better. So, right here, if anyone knows your M37s, all, all your Infinities had the same exact interior. All of them had the same exact interior. When I told my dad I was going to buy this car from him, I told him, I said, the only thing I would change would be this. And when I saw that, I was like, hell, if I'm already changing something, maybe we'll change that too, make it look nice. But this right here was an eyesore for me, and I didn't like the way that it was so old and just, even when it came out, it was old. And I didn't like that. So I got this unit here, and I wanted to be able to have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that good stuff. And this unit does so much shit that it took me like, 30 minutes to 40 minutes before I could hook it up to my phone. It's It's got that much stuff on it. I come out of a 2000 Dodge Ram that doesn't even have a damn radio. So to go to something like this, oh my goodness, I'm I'm playing in the big leagues now. But it's got a, all you did Spotify, it's got all kind of crap on here. YouTube, Netflix is super fast, very responsive. Even when the guys hooked it up, they were like, my God, it's it, it, it's one of the better ones we've seen. And I got this off Amazon. I put the link for each one of the pieces that I got in the description. And this one here came off Amazon. I got a two-year warranty with it. I just felt a little more comfortable getting this off Amazon opposed to getting it off AliExpress. But, hey, it is what it is. They all are made in China. All of these are made in the same exact spot. All people do is they buy them in bulk and then they stamp them with their label on them and they resell them. That's all they're doing. All of these are the same exact ones. They come from the same people. So I don't see any reason why any of them wouldn't work or if you had a problem with one, probably just a defective unit or something. But 
all of them are, are, are the same. They, they may be a little different right up in here. Some may have a button, but for the most part, all of them are made by the same people. <laughs> so I still got my, I got my Android Auto here. Okay. So it cut me off when that linked to it. But it's got everything that I wanted as far as being able to drive and navigation and music and all that. And the amp on this unit is actually pushing a little bit better than the original head unit that was on there. So the music sounds better. Uh, I still have my camera. Well, the car's not on, but all these still work. When you press these, they show up here. All of them still, they, they, they still work. See? You got your AC map. Okay, now the car's wanting to cut off on me. Oh, look at that. See, I like that when it cuts off and cuts on, it shows the emblem. Boom. So let's cut it back on real quick. I want to let y'all see that. Look at this here. Doesn't that look like a brand new car? But yeah, all these still work. Let's see, I'll turn it on. It got a little hot in here. Like I said, as you can see, everything shows up. Uh... I think it still got Celsius on on my head unit. I'd have to get into settings and play with that, but that's really not a big deal. When you want to be cold, you go all the way down. When you want to be hot, you go all the way up. That's how I feel about it. Got your camera. Oh, shit. Well, hold on. Oh, it's, I got the car cover on, so you can't see it, but camera still works. Everything uh, integrated, so uh, you even got your display light lines all that good stuff so say so, hey you see that right there all right so i'm changing the view every everything still works everything like that when it does that so if you're on the fence if you got an infinity or even if you're trying to get one of these for any other vehicle they're fully integrated with everything that they say they are now so all my buttons still work Everything, look at that, the voice, it, every, everything still works. Everything is good to go. Uh, worth the price. I, got, I think I paid 600 for this unit. It was worth it to me. Like I said, if I'm going to buy it, I, just, I, I, want, I want a good one. I want it to look good. This here is some of the factory stuff on us. So I don't know what the fuck that is. But, yeah. But if you think about getting one of these and can't find a decent review up to hear anything about it, this is your review right here. So they're legit, very good products. They uh very up to date, make your car look extremely, extremely new. I like this one, I like right there. Then I changed it to have the speedometer in the middle right there. I like that. Got your infinity right there. And then just hit that. Boom. And you're good to go. But yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you got Facebook. Got this damn equalizer. I'm not touching that. Keep it where it is. I'm listening to Brazilian music and R&B. So I don't even need it. I don't even play no rap in this damn car. Number soft soul music in here. But yeah. This uh. The replacement head unit for. Q70L. Uh, head unit and digital dash so hit a like in the thing you know what I'm saying? let me know if you're thinking about getting one if you need any help uh like i say those codes are your friends i'll even put those codes in there but those two codes that's how you switch all your stuff from kilometers to miles per hour and how you will set your odometer to your correct mileage so with that being said, this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped you out. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know something. All right. Peace.